What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 is back to do another album review. Okay, for my next album review, I'm going to do the review on another ACDC album. And this album is the predecessor to a classic album, Highway to Hell. And it was made in 1978, and it is... ACDC's Power Rage. Power Rage is such a brilliant ACDC album. In my opinion, it's one of my top favourites. And it's such a awesome album. You should definitely pick this album up. And by the way, yet again, this is the remastered version. All of the ACDC albums got remastered, so yeah. And um, it has nine tracks. I know that there's another release of this album that has ten tracks, but I just got the remastered release that has nine tracks. So the whole album is nearly 40 minutes long. And Vander and Young produced the album. And the label for this album is Epic Records. And the production for it is... Albert Productions. So I'm gonna show you the the disc and the album artwork, etc. So here's the disc, and um, I'm gonna put the disc back in. So um, here's the front, and there's the back, and um, here's the. Uh, CD inlay of what it looks like and there's the booklet on top and there's the other side of the inside so uh, I'm just gonna show you guys the booklet right now so the front is just the same as the album cover and the back has Bon Scott this booklet design is just really cool and um, it just shows a lot of pictures and a lot of articles and some information inside and um, I prefer ACDC in the Bon Scott era than the Brian Johnson era so that's just my honest opinion so I prefer the Bon Scott era I really liked the Brian Johnson era, but I like the older ACDC, in my opinion. Back when Bon Scott was with the band before he passed away of alcoholism. So that's the whole booklet. And let's just get to the tracks right now. Rock and Roll Damnation. Rock and Roll Damnation is a brilliant track. It just starts off with the crash cymbals and the guitars and it just builds and it's just a simple, awesome, amazing song. And it's been released as a single as well. So I really like that one. It's one of the best songs on this album and I thought it's just so energetic and it's just fun to listen to down payment blues down payment blues is yet again one of the best tracks on this album one of my favorites just like rock and roll damnation it's just really cool and uh, it is the longest track and it's over six minutes long so that is a long ACDC track and uh, it's a brilliant song from start to finish and it's just yet again energetic like the first track and if you haven't heard of that one you should definitely listen to it give me a bullet give me a bullet just starts off with uh, the repetitive bass drum beat and a cool guitar riff for the introduction and there's the repetitive, easy drum beat over and over again with the uh, 
repetitive, easy guitar riff with amazing vocals from Bon Scott. And it's one of my favorites too on Power Rage as well. And it's just really great. And uh, pure rock and roll. So uh, Gimme a Bullet is a cool kick-ass song. Riff Raff. Riff Raff is probably the best song on this album. And Riff Raff is, you know, more exciting and it is more energetic and it's just really awesome. And it just begins with the uh, simple riff from Angus. Then the drums come in. And then you hear the crash cymbals. And then the awesome guitar riff from Angus begins. And then the whole song just continues from there. From start to finish. With amazing music. Amazing lyrics. And a brilliant guitar solo. Angus Young did some amazing guitar solos on this album. And for the other ACDC albums. So uh, Angus... I have to say, is one of my biggest inspirations for playing guitar. He's such an amazing guitarist. Brilliant song. I wish that song would be released as a single, but that didn't happen. Such a shame, because Riff Raff is just an amazing, brilliant song on the album. It's just really great all the way through. Sin City. Sin City is pretty good and it's not one of my favorite tracks but you know it's just a, another good song on the album just begins with the uh, the simple guitar riff from Angus once again and then the whole song just begins from there you know with the simple drum beat and kick-ass music and great vocals from Bon once again. So Sin City is just a cool song. What's next to the moon? That song is, you know, another good one, just like Sin City. And yet again, it's not one of my favorites, but I still really like the song. So what can I say about all of these songs that ACDC had done over the years from their career since the 70s? This song is just, you know, pretty cool, and I thought it's just fun. So um, I don't know what else to say about that song, but yeah, "Gone Shooting." "Gone Shooting" is a brilliant song. I mainly remember that song from Beavis and Butthead Do America, and that song appeared on the soundtrack as well. "Gone Shooting" is just really great so repetitive because of the uh, the guitar riffs and a brilliant solo from Angus a simple drum beat and fantastic vocals and um, <clears throat> sorry about that and Gone Shooting yet again I wish should be a single but it didn't just like Riff Raff so Gone Shooting is just simple but Awesome. Awesome track on the album. It is probably my second favorite ACDC track on the album. So, I really like that one. Up to My Neck In You. That song is one of my favorite songs on the album. Just like on Shooting. It's just brilliant all the way through. And it never gets old. It will never go out of style. And it's another awesome track and it's just really great that ACDC has become one of the best influential rock bands since the beginning up to this day so um, yeah Up To My Neck and You is a great track and I just don't know what to say about that one that song is just you know great really like that one Kicked In The Teeth Kicked in the teeth just begins with Bon Scott singing the words and then this repetitive beat begins and then it stops and then Bon Scott sings again. 
and then the repetitive bait begins once again, then stops, and then Bon Scott begins singing again, and then this time, the simple riff from Angus begins, and then it stops, and then Bon Scott's singing begins again, and the whole song just begins from there after that long introduction from Bon Scott's singing and the cool riff. That's just repetitive from the beginning, and it's just awesome! It's one of my favourite songs on the album, and it's just really great. It's a really good song on the album, so Kicked in the Teeth is, yet again, one of those energetic songs that will never get old, and it will never go out of style from beginning to end. So, Kicked in the Teeth is a brilliant track on the album. Power Rage is a brilliant ACDC album, I highly recommend it. And it's just as good as Highway to Hell. And I still need to collect more of the ACDC albums and even the live CDs as well. So, um, I really like the front cover, by the way. You can see Angus. And instead of his hands, they are just colourful wires. And there's just this big bright light that's all over Angus, you know. That artwork is just really cool. Definitely check out Power Rage. And I'm going to give the album 5 stars out of 5. And it's just one of the best ACDC albums that I've ever heard since Highway to Hell, in my opinion. And ACDC is just a awesome band. And... Like I said in my Highway to Hell review, I cannot wait for their new album because the new album will be just as good as all of the other ACDC albums that they have done. That's my album review for ACDC's 1978 album, Power Rage. Thanks for watching, rate, comment and subscribe and there's going to be more album reviews for rock and metal bands really soon. So rock on guys and ACDC rules.